Hello, how are you doing? Welcome back to some more Football Manager 2023 and some more. I am the journeyman and I come from down your way and I can play. What can you play? FM23. And today we have got um, Leicester in the last game of the season in the Premier League before taking on who else but Galatasaray in the final of the Euro the Europa Conference League? Our big rivals, of course, and that is just a fairy tale potential ending to the Leeds story. I still haven't fully decided what I'm going to do. Obviously, I flirted with the idea of maybe just resigning um, at the end of this episode, but I haven't I haven't come to that decision yet. Um, it's it's going to be. It's it's going to be a lot based on what budget we've got, to be perfectly honest with you, um, and, and looking ahead to next season, what we can actually do with this squad. So we'll find out a lot today. Um, looking at the staff security or the, the job security sign, um, Atletico Madrid potentially becoming available again. It looks like Real Madrid is available, actually. I don't know where... Um, when that last... Be when that actually became available when did the Real Madrid job come available so Vieira was sacked four days ago um apparently uh there you go apparently yeah apparently I'm favorite for the job is that actually a thing let's have a look I, <laughs> I thought Gary Rowett was uh was favorite there um, this guy's wanted by Real Madrid, so we're, we're going to have to, you know, play our cards right to to get the Real Madrid job. It is possible, though. Uh, that would be awesome if we could go into Europe in charge of Real Madrid. Um, so, yeah, looking forward to, to potentially that being a thing. Um, anyway, since you were last with me, we have done reasonably well. Uh, of course, we beat Chelsea in the last episode 1-0. We then went on to beat Hertha Berlin 5-0 in the first leg of the Europa Conference semi-final. Ballesteros, Dedia, Tiada and Navarro on the score sheet there. We then beat Aston Villa 2-0 with Ballesteros getting two there. We then beat Hertha in the return leg. Uh, Ballesteros and Dedia scoring in that one. Uh, before going down 3-1 to Manchester City away at the Etihad, Dedia got a 91st minute goal, but we were pretty much outplayed in that match. Um, before we took on Coventry, beat them 5-1. Jorge, Ballesteros and Dedea score in there. And most recently, we drew 2-2 with Crystal Palace with Johnny Ballesteros getting two on the board there. He has now picked up an injury. He is going to be out for the rest of the season, which is a big shame, but uh, he has been coming good in recent matches, meaning that we are currently in ninth place in the Premier League. We've obviously got our final match against Leicester before anybody else kicks off, so we can stake our claim for eighth place ahead of West Ham, who are taking on Tottenham at home on the final day of the season. So it's going to be interesting. Arsenal look like they are going to be the ones that win the Premier League this year, um, uh, yeah, I'm really not sure how it's going to go, but uh, we will we will see. We've got a couple of teams in the UEFA Conference League already. Um, Man City must be playing in the final of the Champions League, so they're on the verge of retaining that. Liverpool are up there as well. They've already qualified for at least the Europa League, so it's, it's all a bit of a mess at the moment. Chelsea have qualified for the, the Champions League um because they won the Europa League a couple of weeks ago against Newcastle so it's all gone a little bit crazy in terms of qualification but uh we will see we will see what happens here um it could be a crazy final day of the season so let's have a little look at the team that we're going to put out there today we have got Gyro starting in goal with Bradley Robinson up and Meccano and Mizogen in defense Casada is our anchor man with Simmons and Miano in the middle Dedi and Jorge will start wide of Peter Murray leading the line up top we do have three injuries one to Mangiavacci one to Navarro and one to Ballesteros. All of them are out for the rest of the season now. So let's get into it. Uh, potentially our final match, as I say, in charge of Leeds United, or at least our final Premier League match. Although if we do lose this and finish in the bottom half, 
we may well get sacked, which would be hilarious. Um, especially because we're favourites for the Real Madrid job, and and that would be an awesome job to go for. What a what a journey into the unknown that will be, and and perhaps you know a chance to to learn a new culture, um, you know some Spanish football, and and really try and and take. Um, our career to the next level as Peter Murray puts it into the back of the net and that is his first goal for a long long time he hasn't really had that much football we've been playing that wall bank and um, Johnny Ballesteros up top recently but uh, Peter Murray straight away gets a chance puts it into the back of the net and puts us 1-0 up which puts us into 8th place as it stands and it is a shame you know had we got off to a better start this season potentially we could have been right in that title fight you, you know it's been a very low point scoring season um a couple of years ago when we got 83 points that would have been by far and away enough to win the title this year but it's one of those things you know it's been one of those weird seasons in the premier league where so many of the the teams at the, the top have been taking points off each other and i think that that's kind of what's keeping me at Leeds you know potentially keeping me at Leeds next season if we get the budget to get a couple new signings at least uh, renew some of the contracts a, a lot of contracts are running out next year and that's something that that I am concerned about going forward for this club he has Mizogen on the ball gets it to uh, Cesar Casadai and Murray's there potentially it's Dedia who puts it into the back of the net but it is a free kick uh, to Leicester City, which I think was was questionable at the very least. But there you go, half time, and it is one nil, still one nil. An early Peter Murray goal put us into the lead. It would be nice to get a two goal cush here. Here's Jorge gets it back to Mizogen now to Upper Meccano to Mizogen. No, nope, he's lost it. That wasn't great. Upper Meccano to Mayano, all the way back to Gyro. Now here's Robinson. Had a great run in the team recently. Bradley gets it forward to Dedia. Dedia now running down this right-hand side. Good replacement for Navarro. Here's Jevin Simmons into the middle. And Peter Murray should have made it 2-0 there. It is going to be a corner. But that should have been the moment that we took a 2-0 lead. It's Simmons who whips it into the middle. Headed away. And now here's Casadai. Casadai with a chance. Back to Upper Meccano with the shot over the bar. Ooh, we are looking good though. Fingers crossed we can give Galatasaray a, a good thumping. <laughs> right, uh, let's make some substitutions. Dedia is going to come off for Weber. Um, Mayano is going to come off for Zhelabov. We'll move Kasadai out there instead. And Michael Robinson can come off for Tiata. Tiata, of course, playing his last couple of matches for us, so we'll give him the, the farewell he deserves. Um, Kastai's apparently given everything he can. Obviously, we don't want him injured for the final. And we'll take Murray off and we'll put Nat Wallbank on for the last 15 minutes, see if he can grab a second for us. We've got 10 minutes left. We're going to go cautious now. And this might be... A positive end to the season, a positive victory, three points in the bag, and potentially eighth place. We'll just have to wait and see. But there it is, full time, and uh, we do win it in the end. It was a, a, a bit of a drab match, but we got the three points, and that's kind of all that matters, really. And uh, we are now ready and raring to go for the Galatasaray match. That will end our season. I'll see you for the West Ham game and see if they get over the line and finish eighth. Well, there you go then. West Ham beat Tottenham 3-1, meaning we do finish ninth in the Premier League. Overall, uh, Southampton can't catch us, so that's all right. We are in the top half. It's not bad. Um, it's an improvement on last season at the very least. I think we finished 10th last year, so moving in the right direction again. But it is overall a disappointing season. You know, we wanted to get back into the top four this year. Hasn't happened. And, uh, well, we'll see 
what happens in the Europa League final. Fingers crossed. A nice victory. But Arsenal won the Premier League again. OK, a couple of changes for this match in the final then. Arthur Tiara will start at central defence and uh, we've brought in Daniel Weber for the injured Jeffrey Dedia. Everybody else the same as the Leicester match. So here we go. Let's get into it. The final of the Europa Conference League. Let's get the, the old headphones on. Of course, we're going to have the classic theme tune. And yeah, I mean, Yusuf Demir, he must be pretty old now but playing the rivals this is what we want to do um yeah what are we gonna say yeah do it for the fans at the stade de france i think it is um i might be wrong or was it park de princess but yes here we are we're in two the europa conference league final a chance to win our first european trophy and our second trophy as part of the Leeds era. We've still not heard anything from Real Madrid at present, but uh, we will see whether that happens next time out. It is going to be very interesting indeed. So here we go. 90 minutes or potentially 120 minutes of football separates us and European glory. Let's keep an eye on our team. Here's Bradley, gets it to Weber straight away. Bradley whips it in towards Peter Murray, but uh, he couldn't get onto it. Mehmet Abbas is on the ball. He clears it. And, uh, well, there's a header forward, but Gyro comes out to collect. And this is going to be a huge match, of course, against the big rivals as well. And, um, you know, this this is just a fairy tale ending. If this is to be our last match in charge of Leeds, you know, bringing them a European trophy against Galatasaray would just be would just be awesome and a great way to say thank you. And uh, Simmons gets it forward to Peter Murray. What a chance. And Peter Murray again on the score sheet. And what a start to this match. After eight minutes, we are 1-0 up against Galatasaray. And, uh, well, what a brilliant finish from Peter Murray. It was, uh, it was nervy. We'll give him that. But it was over the top. And, yeah, that's a... Uh, and a, a nice goal, and that puts us 1-0 up for the moment. Uh, let's get the visualiser on there, shall we? Is that useful? That's yeah, not terrible. Not terrible. Uh, Visualisations. Leeds shot map. Okay. What, what else could we have? Match momentum. I do like the match momentum one. You can see... We are definitely the team with the momentum at the moment. It would be great to get that two-goal cush, as I said. Here's Weber, gets it forward. What a ball that is towards Francisco Jorge, who whips it in now, and it's over the top by Jevin Simmons. But that was a chance. It certainly was a chance. Here's Tiata. Gets it all the way back to Robinson now. Forward to Simmons. Here's Weber. Weber over the top towards Peter Murray with a great chance. Good save. Um, but you feel like unless we put them to bed here, it could well be a moment that we regret. But Arthur Tiara in his last ever Leeds match puts us 2-0 up. The captain puts in the rebound from a Michael Robinson header. And that is what we needed. Jevin Simmons with the corner kick. Robinson with a header. Hit the post. And then Tiata puts it into the back of the net. And it's now Galatasaray nil. Leeds United 2. Come on. Yes. Brilliant. Right then. Um, what do we say? Happy with dominating possession. And there's a highlight straight from the kickoff here. It would be great if we could get a clean sheet. Because Gyro's... Um, oh, that's a penalty, Jeff. <laughs> I was just about to say, Gyro is about to break the clean sheet record for Leeds United. If he wants to keep that going, then he's going to have to save a penalty. It definitely was a penalty. Gyro versus whoever this is. Who is this? 
Kamaz- Kaz- Kazim Khan. Hey, Jaro saves it. Yes. <laughs> it's not going to be Galatasaray's day, is it? A missed penalty, Jeff. And uh, Yusuf gets it into the middle, headed away by Kasadai, and now Weber on the counter-attack. And it was his uh, original ball to uh, Hoge before. That was just terrific, wasn't it? Hoge is going to come off, though, and uh, we're going to put on Jeffrey Dethy. I know he's got a little injury, but I would like to, to see him play in this final. He's been such a, a good player for us for the last couple of seasons. Uh, we, we've got to see that world-class talent again. And, you know, certainly top of the shopping list is going to be Johnny Ballesteros. I've got I've got to be honest. Um, he has been a brilliant goal scorer. I think he'll be fairly cheap, yeah, certainly with what clubs have been coming in for him on um, while I've been manager here. You know, that it's been pretty ridiculous. Here's uh, Kaz McCann. Here's Weber now pushing forward. It's Mayano. Cuts inside. Oh, Marcus Mayano should be scoring from there. Didn't manage it, though. It is cleared forward again. Peter Murray potentially should have had his head on it. Mizogen. Mayano loses it. But Tiata wins it back. All the way back to the goalkeeper, Gyro. Tiata. Here's Mizogen. Mizogen still going, Hawke, brilliant ball through to Peter Murray, what a chance for 3-0, Peter Murray with the shot, just wide, unlucky, Nat Wallbank's going to come on, our resident expert of scoring in the Champions League, or at least European football, Zhelebov is going to come on as well, so two more changes, and that is that, that is your lot, this is... Uh, the last few moments of our Leeds career potentially unfolding in front of us. It has been a very, very fun time. And maybe after this, you know, last speech, eulogy, if you like, he might still be taking charge of Leeds next season. I really don't know. Um, I am expecting the England job to probably become available as well. That could be a potential route out. Mayano over the top, and it's Simmons now with a great chance. Good save. Good save there. And Oh, no, we can. We can make one more substitution. I think we will do. We'll bring Michael Sant on, um, our youth product player. 25 minutes to go. Nice opportunity for him to play in a European final. And potentially score in a European final. And here he is, Michael Sam with a great chance. Hits the bar and Zhelebov puts it in. I thought he'd missed. But Zhelebov puts it in. And that should be that if VAR comes through. There is VAR here. But it's awarded 3-0. And that is going to be the end of this match. It would have been awesome if Michael Sand could have scored this, and it was a great shot, hit the bar, Zhelebov with the rebound, and it is now Galatasaray nil, Leeds United 3, and there's Khan over the top, gets it towards Bradley, Zhelebov, Tiara. and when we play like this, you think, wow, anything is possible. You know, such understanding in this squad, but... For times in the last couple of seasons, we've just not had it consistently. He has Wallbank. Dethia. Dethia with a chance forward to Weber. Weber with a great chance, puts it in. Fourth goal of the season for him. Fourth goal for us on the night. That is your lot. And we have absolutely stuffed Galatasaray in the Europa Conference League final. This is, if it is the ending, the perfect ending. Mayano whips it in. Weber with the header. Dethy is there. He's going to score as well. Although I think that one might be offside. We will see. VAR is coming through. Be lovely for Dethy if that is a goal. And it is 5 0 now. Let's have another look at that. 18th goal of the season for Jeffrey Dethy. He was there, Wallbank was there trying to get in on the action as well and we're just 
doing better and better. We're going to praise them all. We've got another corner here. Weber into the middle. Robinson's at the back post. It's over the bar. That was close. Five minutes left. And it's going to be victory in the Europa Conference League final. It was our very first final at Leeds. We've come full circle. We finally got our hands on that trophy. Arthur Tiara, after all he's done for this club, is going to step up. And in his final match for the club, look at that Leeds United faithful over there. They are loving it. And here we are. We're getting ready. Down on our knees. And we absolutely revel in the moment. And there it is. Our second tournament victory. The Europa Conference League. Our first European trophy of the series. And that's Euro Europa League football for Leeds United next year straight in at the group stage and a terrific 5-0 victory over rivals Galatasaray to win and uh, overall you've got to say that's a, a pretty good season when you put a European trophy on the, the end of it Chelsea beat Southampton they're going to finish in the top four lovely to see that um, you can see there there is the top four Man United uh, are, are fifth. They're going to be in the Europa League next season with new. Uh, although they're probably going to be promoted to the Champions League, uh, we are going to be in the Europa League next season, thanks to our performance there. There's the medals for all of it. Um, yeah, wonderful to see. Even James Crouch gets one. There you go. Uh, Hanard leads. <laughs> Hanard leads leads to to glory. Fantastic, and surely our reputation enjoys a boost. It, it actually doesn't, and we haven't been identified as wanted by Real Madrid, so I'm a little bit worried that we're not going to get that job. I've been doing all of this talking, saying, saying this and that. We're going to receive $4.3 million for winning that. The money's just rubbish in the Conference League compared to... The Champions League, but uh, you have to say, since we've switched to the 4-3-3, that's not a bad end to the season, really, is it? You know, if you look at the, the start, I mean, that that's a, a good period, the 5-2-3 working there. 4-2-4 started well enough, but just inconsistent, and I think that's where we are this season. Very inconsistent. And that's the way it is. Right, let's continue on. I want to see what our initial budget is. We have qualified for the Europa League. So there you go. We are receiving little bits of money here and there. Um, so at the group stage, very good. I feel like we're going to have season review here. Um... Squad planning for next season. Ballesteros wins uh, young player of the season. And player of this. Oh, right, in the uh, in the conference league. I thought that was a bit odd. Yeah, very good. I assume that's for... Yeah, the English players player. Young player of the season. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. That's the Europa Conference League. Yeah. <laughs> A team of the season. Very good. Uh, and there's our initial budget. And that kind of confirms it, doesn't it? You know, we've got f no money to spend. We got a little bit in the wage budget, to be fair. A little bit of wiggle room there. Um, our committed spending is only 3.1 million. So I suppose you could say we have up to £34 million to spend. We can sign one player. And an, and an average one at that. I think tomorrow's episode, transfer special with Leeds United and a job hunt. We are we have applied for uh, Real Madrid. Whether we will get contact from them, I really don't know. Um, it is going to be touch and go whether that happens. Adrian Mutu. <laughs> Goodness me. Where's he been all these years? Does he play? No, he doesn't play anymore. He was, of course, banned for drugs, I think. 
Adrian Mutu. That's a name I've not thought about for a long time. Um, there's nobody else really that I'd be interested in taking over at this stage. So, yeah, Real Madrid until potentially the summer when there's maybe an international job that comes about. But uh, our Leeds United reign, I think, will probably be coming to an end very soon. But we will be back tomorrow with the transfer special. We'll start at the season review day, as always. I mean, we might as well continue up to that right now in case anything happens before then. And that is where we will pick up tomorrow. So if you have enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up down below. Subscribe for plenty more Football Manager videos. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.